Hello everyone, my name is Nanchiketa and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Langchain framework to build a code completion chatbot for you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to build a chatbot that uses a large language model to do any of your Python programming tasks. You can ask it outputs for your code, you can give it programming questions like this one. You can tell it to write a program in Python to print the Fibonacci series using a recursive method and can do that for you in no time. It's going to be a very short video because you can do this in just five lines of code. And all you need is basic knowledge of Langchain and agents which I've talked about in my previous videos. So do watch that but I'll still give you a gist of it as we go along. So let's just start straight away. So we're going to be working with the Langchain framework which is just a framework which is designed to help you use your large language model like the one ChatGPT uses and enable it to do much more. So just for example, ChatGPT cannot tell you what the weather right now in Delhi is because it does not have access to the internet. So by using the Langchain framework, you can take a model and connect it to internet or APIs that can use the internet to build a more powerful chatbot. To accomplish this, there's a concept called as agents in Langchain, which have a flowchart something like this. Whenever a user asks it something like let's say a programming task, it goes to the agent which uses the first, which first uses a large language model to understand what the user really wants. Then based on what the user wants to do, let's say a Google search or a Python programming task, it has access to different tools it can use to accomplish the desired response. It also has access to different data sources which can make the application more powerful by giving it access to some user data or some company data to build customized applications. But we don't need that for now, just understand that whenever a user asks something, there's gonna be an agent who understands what needs to be done, uses different tools which it has, and, and uses all that to give the output back to the user. That's what an agent does. It's basically like a bot sitting sitting on top with access to everything, with access to models, tools, and using everything to do what the user wants to be done. With that, let's get started with the code straight away. What you need to do is you need to install the Langchain and OpenAI libraries using the pip install command. I'll give the access to these notebooks in the description. You can uh, get the code from over there. You need to import some libraries which gives you access to Langchain agents, LLM models, and specifically, more importantly, the Python REPL tool. You also need to import the function create Python agent, which will help us create an agent which can access Python tools. The next step is you have to first uh, add the OpenAI API key in your environment variable. This is necessary so that you can access the large language model. And this is a paid API, which means you get charged on the basis of the number of tokens you use. So you have to first get the API. I'll give a link in the description, just Google open AI API key and you just have to log in and register to get an API. Once that's done, I create an instance of a large language model. Let me just zoom in over the code a little bit. We create an instance of a large language model. We specify the temperature equal to zero, which basically keeps the creativity to a minimum. If you give the temperature to one, the creativity increases, but the answers might also become slightly random. We specify a large language model, which we want to use, which we're going to give GPT 3.5 turbo, which is a large language model, which works best for most Python programming tasks. And it does not, and it's pretty cheap as well as compared to other models available. Once that's done, we create a Python agent using the create Python agent function we had imported earlier. As shown in the diagram, we have to give the access of the tools to the agent and we also have to specify an LLM model that will be an LLM model that it will use to understand what the user wants. So we create a Python agent, we give it access to the LLM model we had created above. We give it access to the Python REPL tool and verbose equals to true basically means that whatever the agent is doing, it's gonna print that to the console so we can have an understanding. And that's all. Once you run this, your Python agent, your agent with access to Python is ready and you can give it any programming task. You can give it any programming task. For example, I give it an input list over here, which is an input variable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna call agent.run 
and inside you can give it any programming task so i give it the input list and i ask it to convert into i ask it to convert it into a dictionary where the keys are these particular names and followed by the values so that's it and once i ask it to run it will tell me that it's entering a new agent executor chain so you can see that this is what's happening over here that the agent understands that it needs to iterate over the list and create key value pairs so it understands it needs to call the python repl tool over here to do the necessary task so you can see what's being done it creates a for loop finally you can see the code that is being used and the final answer over here is the dictionary which i wanted is something you can find over here so instead of an input list you can give it access to a data frame you can give it access to excel sheets your company data to make it more powerful and customized to understand in more detail the programming tasks that are happening in the background you can run it in a debug mode which will give you a more detailed explanation of all the tasks that it's being run right so i can see that it starts from the initial where we gave it an input over here which the agent sends into an llm model and you can see what's happening over here the agent gives the llm model a prompt that and tells it that you are an agent designed to execute python code so that now it can accomplish programming tasks using the python tool which we gave it so you can see what's happening over here this is optional you can see the number of tokens which are being sent and all of that is available over here for now i'll simply turn back the debug debug mode to false it's optional depending on if you want you can also get code written for you by giving it programming tasks so i ask it to write a program in python to print the fibonacci series for example and i simply run it you will see that the agent understands that again it needs to use the python tool and it will do everything for you and you can see the code which is written over here and you can copy that and use it to do again your programming tasks and uh, that was all for this video if you did like it do like this video and subscribe to this channel and let me know what you want to see i'll be making more videos on lang chain and this framework which can allow developers to build very powerful customized applications and i'll see you again in the next video thank you for watching